Hello, this is Won Eun Sung at Busan National University Yangtan Hospital. What I present is a clinical trial of PALP inhibitor treatment for MCRPC patients with DNA repair gene mutations. MCRPC patients show various genomic alteration in WNT, PI3K, AR, cell cycle, and gene repair gene. Among them, about 25% indicate alteration of DNA repair genes. Representatively, there is an alteration of AR, TP53, P10, BRCA1-2, and ATM gene. The key mechanism involved in DNA repair is a their homologous recomb recombination repair. Various clinical trials for PARP inhibitors in MCRP patients have been are in progress. Representative examples in include TOPAR A, B, Triton 2, Galahad, and Propan trial. Olaparib is the, the only FDA and EMA approved for MCRP patients who have a BRCA mutation, HIL mutation, and have been using a new hormone agent. Lucaparib is the FDA approved in patients with MCRP who have a BRCA mutation and have been using a new hormone agent for docetaxel. Let's briefly review the clinical trials that suffered this. First of all, TOPAC A was conducted first. In 50 patients with MCRPC who have previously received docetaxel treatment, phase 2 trial of various progression free survival and over survival according to the presence of DNA repair gene mutations were evaluated with Olaparib 400mg PID. Patients who responded to Olaparib had mutation in BRCA2, ATM, and CHEC2. Comparing the oncology outcomes of patients with and without these biomarkers, radiologic PFSA was 9.8 months in biomarker positive group longer than 2.7 months in biomarker negative group. Overall survival was also 13.8 months in the biomarker positive group, longer than 7.5 months in biomarker negative group. TOPAR A began the national for FDA approval of Olaparib in patients with MCRPC with a BRCA mutation, ATM mutation. In TOPAR B, the dose response for Olaparib 300 mg and 400 mg, and the response of each group of DNA repair gene mutation were confirmed in 98 MCRPC patients who had a received docetaxel treatment. BRCA2 mutations were present in 31%, and ATM and CDK12 mutations were present in 21% each other. Composite overall response was 39.1% at 300mg and 54.3% at 40mg better. In the gene subgroup analysis, the BRCA1-2 mutation group was the best. Next is the Triton 2 trial. Through this study, Lucapari is the basis for FDA approval for MCRP patients with a BRCA mutation and previously treated with a new hormone agent and docetaxel. This is phase 2 trial with Lucapari PID in 193 patients with MCRPC with bi or mono LA, somatic, and germline HRD. We look at the objective response rate and PSA response rate as a primary endpoint. As a result, the ORR of the group with a somatic and germline BRCA1-2 mutation was 53%, and the PRR was significantly better between 50% and 60%. Next is the Galahar trial. This is a phase 2 trial with a Nirapar 300mg QD applied to 209-1 patient with bi HLD or MCRPC with germline BRCA1-2 alteration. We look at the objective response rate as a primary endpoint. As a result, the ORR of the group with BRCA1-2 mutation was 41%. 
significantly better than 9% of the group without BRCA1-2 mutation. Next is the Talapro-1 trial. This is a phase 2 trial with Talazoparib 1mg QD applied to 100M therapist patient with mono or bioallog HLD except CDK12. As a result, when comparing OLR of each group, 43% of the group with BRCA1-2 mutation, 33% POP2, 11% of ATM, the others had no response. Whether it's PFSA and confident response also 9% and 76% better. This is an ongoing research. The following is the first profound trial in which Olaparib was approved by FDA EMA. This is phase 3 trial of 778 MCRP patient who had a progress even after using a new hormone agent before. Divide the group with BRCA1, 2, or ATM mutation into codes A, the group with the other DNA repairing mutation into code B. In each group, the group treated with Olaparib and the control group treated with enzalutamide and Avertel were compared. In case of rhetoric progression, crossover with Olaparib were accepted and total of 66% crossover were achieved. We look at the radiologic PFSA and over survivor as primary endpoints. The most common gene alteration were BRCA2, ATM, and CDK12. Of the 160 patients with BRCA1 or BRCA2 alteration, 8% were BRCA1 single alterations. 80% had BRCA2 single alteration and 11% had both. In quotes A, radiology PFSA was better and 7.4 months in Olapari group than in the control group and 3.6 months. Even when quotes A and B combined, the PFSA Olapari group was failure. Also, in subgroup analysis of quotes A group, for each item, Olapari group was better. In quotes A, over survival was 9 months in Olapari group, which was superior to 14.7 months in control group. Even after adjusting for crossover, the over survival of Olapari group was better. Even in all patients with quotes A and B, over survival was 17.3 months in the Olapari group, which was superior to 14 months in the control group. Even after adjusting for a crossover, overall survival of the Olaparic group was better. The mean duration of treatment was 7.6 months in Olaparic group and 3.9 months in the control group. Side effects occurred in more than 15% of patients. The most common side effects was anemia, nausea, and fatigue. One case developed AML after discontinuation of treatment. So far, we have looked at a large trial of PARP inhibitors. Now, let's take a break look at the mechanism of action of DNA damage repair and PARP inhibitors. Basic excision repair works when there is a single DNA strand break. In addition, mechanisms such as nucleotide excision repair and mismatch repair work. When there is a double strand break, three mechanisms work non homologous end joining, micro homologous mediate end joining, and homologous recombination repair. If there is a double strand break, the most important that is homologous recombination repair. When there is a double strand break, ATM, FUNC, and CHAC2, which are genes that act sensors work and BRCA1, 2, and PARP2, which are genes that act as effectors, work to repair DNA damage. The most important mechanism of action of PARP inhibitors are catalysis and trapping. 
If there is a single strand break, PARP acts to prevent damage by causing paralysis, but when PARP inhibition is performed, paralyzation does not occur. Also, if there is a single strand break, as PARP works, effector genes such as BRCA act to prevent cell necrosis. On PARP inhibition, these effector genes do not function, resulting cell deaths. Looking more closely, when a single strand break lies in homologous recombination repair competent cells, PARP works. But when PARP inhibitors are used, it cannot be repaired. DNA replication lies and a double strand break occurs. At this time, the homologous recombination repair system works and it became repair. However, in homologous recombination repair deficiency cells, homologous recombination repair does not perform. Finally, let's take a look at the clinical trials currently in progress or planning. First, as a trial of PARP inhibitor single agent, group 337, Imano, broke away for all our pipe are being recruited. Phase 3 trial on Luca pipe, including Triton 3, Triumph, Platypark, are lower, are being recruited. The combination of PARP inhibitor and new hormone agent or combination with immunotherapy is in progress. Representatively, Propel, a phase 3 study looking at the combination of Olaparib and Abiraterone. Keyring 010, a phase 3 study looking at the combination of Olaparib and Pembrolizumab. Magnitude, Amplitude, which are phase 3 studies looking at the combination of Niraparib and Abiraterone. In addition, Caspar, a PAVE 3 study, the combination of Lucaparib and Enzalutamide. There is a Tarapro 2, a PAVE 3 study, the combination of Talazoparib and Enzalutamide. In the future, in MCRPC patients, the application of this biomarker based approach and PARP inhibitor will continue. Thank you for your attention.